Hello friends. Today is Sunday and I'm getting hopefully this video completely done and wrapped up with but it's a reading vlog. We're back at it with another reading vlog. This is my September book no buzzwordathon. So for my September buzzwordathon I have to read books with either light or dark in the title so I'm gonna do both. And the first book that I will be technically rereading is The Dead in the Dark by Courtney Gold. I really love this book. I read this last year for the same September prompt of light and dark and I wanted to pick it up physically and read it because I really enjoyed the audiobook and I gave it four stars. I think upon a reread physically I can give this five stars. So this is one of the books, one of the books we will be reading. But when I was curating this TBR I actually had like seven different books with dark in the title and I was like cool great but then as I thought about it more I didn't really want to only read titles with dark in it because I've done that before that's normal so I'm gonna do light so I'm actually reading The Lights of Prague by Nicole Jarvis I've actually already started this as well I've been waiting to update you guys but I've been needing the time to finish the book so I've already started, I'm like 30-ish percent through the audiobook and I have already purchased a physical copy. I don't think it'll be here in time for when this video comes out, but I did purchase it because I'm really enjoying it. I don't know where the plot is exactly going for the most part. In this we're following two perspectives, one a man who recently found a wisp in a jar from a dead vampire and he is a light lighter so he basically goes through Prague at night and lights the lamps there's a society of men that do this potentially women but it sounds like men he also works at his uncle's shop part-time he helps this other guy try and find ways to kill vampires like the scientists or something and the other perspective that we are following is a female vampire I'm not gonna lie, when I went into this book, I did not actually know it was a vampire book, but it made me incredibly happy that it's a vampire book. So we're following her, and I'm not really sure what her point is yet. She did just go meet with, like, the head honcho vampire, like, vampire daddy, basically, who killed a bunch of their coven because he didn't trust them and he hasn't been turning any humans lately so I'm sure that will probably be explored a little bit but besides that like she's just kind of hanging out with the humans doing her little fake human thing I don't know I don't know what else is gonna come of her I don't know if there's any romance in this or if it's just like a straightforward book um so yeah I'm enjoying it a lot like I said I did already purchase it um so my copy should be here sometime this week but I'm hoping to get this finished today as well as the dead and the dark so that we can wrap up this video for you guys because I'm trying to get back to doing my buzzword a in 24 hours so I'll be listening to the lights of Prague mostly today while I'm cleaning up the space a little bit and Austin and I have to drive his car back up to Portland to get worked on so I'll be listening to Lights of Prague in the car. I have, I think, four-ish hours left of that, and then this will probably take me five and a half or so. I do also want to annotate this. I have my tabs. I'm going to, I think, just stick to the pinks, but we will talk more about this when I actually start picking this up. But that's the reading plans thus far that's what's going on yeah so right now i'm just gonna keep listening and tidying up i also would love to show you the cat one second little baby you're so cute <laughs> okay but yeah i'm gonna read Lights of Prague a little bit more, listen to the audiobook, tidy up the office, drive to Portland apparently. So 
All right, so I just got to the dealership. Austin is not here yet, so I thought I'd check in with you guys. I've listened to another two hours of The Lights of Prague, and I truly love it. I love it so much. I think it's so good. I love the wisp and the dynamic with our main guy, whose name I don't remember. I like that with this wisp he's kind of like more powerful and doesn't want to relinquish that but yet is trying to do the right thing and like be good but there's the commentary on like how how to be good in these situations because the main gist of this book is basically they're not quite vampires they're kind of they're kind of vampires, but like kind of not. But basically our our girl Aura is like not the usual normal vampire that like does the not good things. And so she's kind of working with him, but like not because he doesn't like her because he's a monster hunter. And there's the secret society of the light lighter lamp lighters and I just like the dynamics of all of these groups and the kind of like the corruption in some ways of it all I again really like the vampires and what they're doing to become stronger basically because you know that's always the ultimate goal I love the wisp I love the Wisp so much. The Wisp and Aura are like my favorite characters. Aura is so smart. She's such a badass. Like she can throw down, but she can also outwit you any day. I love it so much. It's great. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I have an hour left, so I probably won't listen to it with Austin because he doesn't know what's going on. So I'll probably listen to it when I get home and I don't know, find some chores to do or something, and then I will switch over to the next book. But I am really liking it. I'm really excited that I bought a copy to read this because I think I could definitely read this again and pick up on a lot of things that I've missed. Uh, it's, it's so good. And you know what? By the time this video is out, it will well be into spooky season. So if you're wanting like a vampire not quite gothic, but a little bit Victorian. Very Prague, very Paris. Um, with museums and you walk the cobble streets and there's carriages. I just, the vibes are there. I would highly recommend. I know I haven't finished it yet, but I think I could recommend this widely for October especially, but like any time of the year. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> You may have noticed a slight office revamp. <laughs> we got back from Portland. We got some pizza. And then Austin helped me hang my shelf up finally. And I hung up my fairy lights. And I filmed my video. So it was a very productive day. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of things done. But in that time, I also finally finished The Lights of Prague by Nicole Jarvis. Wonderful. I gave it four stars. <laughs> Just four straight easy stars. Um, by the end, I was kind of losing interest. Might have just been because I had like things going on, so I wasn't able to give it my full attention the same way. But overall, I really liked all of the characters. I liked the different aspects where there was the, basically the vampire clan, and then there was the lamp lighters, and then there were everybody else in between <laughs> that were involved. I just liked the dynamics of everything and everybody. I felt like the characters made sense and were fleshed out enough. I thought it was an overall good story. It's your very standard, normal book of 
boy meets girl, boy needs to kill girl, boy likes girl, doesn't kill girl, boy goes separate way to kill other monsters, then in the end they like have to team up begrudgingly to themselves. It it follows the paths that you expect it to, but in, in a good way, I, I don't, I don't know. I liked it. But now, I get to begin The Dead in the Dark, my reread. I'm so excited. I really enjoyed this the first time. I will leave my vlog where I read it for you guys last year in the cards. I thought it was good. I really love the characters. I like that there's a trigger warning in front of the book so that you know what you're going to get in this because it does have it, it this is um <laughs> very gay because sorry I just got served my pizza so now somebody thinks that she can have my food anyway <laughs> the dads are gay the daughter's gay everyone's gay <laughs> it's it's a good time so if you want a little bit of romance in your ghost stories may i offer you the dead in the dark i really enjoyed the story last time i remember very vividly the entire like listening experience i listened to most of the book on a solo road trip and i just had like a fantastic grand old time so i'm kind of hoping to get that again i'm wanting to annotate but not anything crazy maybe like purple are scenes that I like, maybe pink is romance, nothing crazy, but I'll read it and I'll let you know further what I think my annotating tabbing system will be. But until then, I'm gonna get started on this. Probably will go to bed shortly and then I will check in with you guys most likely tomorrow where we can talk more about this. So. I feel like the pink fits the book. Um, there are a few tabs. I did end up just sticking to the pink. I did end up sticking to the pink and purple theme. I thought it just, it looks very nice with the pastels. It's very simple. Um, the pinks represent happy, funny moments and the purple are like the scary, sad moments very simple tabbing um unfortunately still four stars it didn't really change anything for me the story kind of had more lulls than it did the first time maybe because I just I knew the story so I there was less to pick up on there was less to pay attention to so there were moments where I was just kind of like Nah, yeah, we could speed this up a little bit. Um, I All I know about my reading taste is that if you give me young adult horror and you throw in a romance subplot, I'm going to eat it up. I just think it's going to be a good book. That's just the that on that. I Sue me. I think this is still a very good story. I think that this is very easy to widely recommend to anybody because there's not anything too scary about it there's nothing really triggering about it it's not like completely happy uplifting horror of course but the things that go on it are very manageable to read and like it's not too heavy 
while still talking about things like homophobia in small towns. What you doing? So, yes, I'm still going to give this four stars. I am glad that I reread it. I'm glad that I could have it a little bit. I am happy to have this. It is still a book that I will widely recommend and I like it. So, yeah, I have it on my shelves now. I don't really need to explain that, but that's it for the video. What you doing? <laughs> that's it for this video. I am going to sleep. I'm going to edit this last clip because the rest of the vlog's edited because I'm on top of my shit. Um, and I'm going to go to bed because it's been a really long day. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I know that my days for Booktober are a little messed up now that I'm finally finishing and catching up on the videos but we will be back on track soon it is what it is anyway thank you for sticking around and hanging out with me let me know if you participated in buzzwordathon or if you read either of these two books honestly a winner of a reading vlog like i loved both of the books like granted I already knew I liked this one, but I really loved Lights of Prague, Prague so I'm really excited to have that copy soon. <sighs> Hopefully this week, we'll see. But thanks for sticking around and hanging out with me. I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video.